What a dooski son dudes, it's your boy Bob Jim Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now in this video, I would just be talking about the USA team versus the Argentina game. Now I just got done watching it. Let me tell you, it was pretty, pretty interesting, especially in the first half. Now I'm gonna break down the first half and the second half, and I have my notes down here so I can, you know, basically talk about everything that I was gonna talk about. Now in the first half, it was a very, very tight game. I mean, Argentina, they came out, they knew they had the confidence that they can play the U.S. team. I remember a couple years ago, they beat them before, so it's like they already knew that they had a chance to beat them. They never was afraid of them or none of that because, let me tell you, Argentina, they was on point from the three-point shots, from attacking, from, from just basically playing good defense. I mean... It was it was it was pretty pretty interesting. I didn't know they was gonna play them this good, but let me just break down some things, okay? For one, the three point shots was not falling for the U.S. men's basketball team. They was taking entirely too many in the first half. They took twenty two three point shots in the first half, and out of twenty two three point shots, they only made nine. Now, even though they made nine, that's okay, but that is still too many three-point shots. I mean, they should have been attacking more to the rim, you know, getting getting foul calls and everything. But, you know, this whole Olympics, they've been shooting a whole bunch of threes. And sometimes it work for them. Sometimes it don't work for them. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's good for them. Now, on the Argentina side, they three-point shots was dropping down with ease. I mean, them boys, they have some shooters over there. And remind you, on that team, they have basically, what, five NBA players on that team? So, they know how to play. The, they know how to play against some NBA caliber players, so they're not afraid of them. Now, in this first half, Argentina they shot fifty six percent. So that just lets you know that the U.S. men's defense was not as great as from from how it normally was be. They was kind of slacking a little bit on the USA men's side as far as the defense. Now, um, also it was too much one on one basketball on the U.S. side. It seemed like they just get into this mode where they don't even worry about team ball. They just get in on this one on one mode. They think they can do it all by themselves. They come down the court, jack up threes, and not really playing as a team. You know, not all the time. They don't do it all the time, but they do it. They was doing it a lot this game. It was a lot of one on one basketball, and um, you know that's that that can be a big problem, especially moving on. You know. And um, so, like I said, it was too many three-point shots, and they was missing a lot of them. Uh, they was 9 for 22. Now, moving on to the second half. Now, this is where they – oh, and also, I think it was like 56 to 54, I believe. U.S. was up two points. I can't remember, but I know it was very close going into halftime. Now, moving on to the second half. Now, the second half, right out the gate, they gave the ball to LeBron James. This man scored nine points. Like, right out the gate, he was just like, look, give me the ball. I'm going to, you know, get us get us past this, whatever. So he came out the gate, you know, nine straight points. The defense was so much aggressive. And I can give that actually to Andre Iguodala because he was playing good defense in the first half. And then, you know, the second half, he stepped it up more. LeBron James stepped it up. Everybody just stepped up. Chris Paul, everybody just stepped up the defense. And when they stepped up their defense, the Argentina team, they couldn't adjust to the quickness and the speed of the USA men's team because you notice like everything just changed because when they start playing at the U.S. pace, oh, it was a problem. Things was different. And um, also, you know, KD, let me just tell you, KD, this man heated up behind the three-point line. He heated up. If I'm not mistaken, he hit four or five straight three-point shots from not – some of them was long distance, and we all know he can do that. It's nothing new to him. And – um. He came out the gate firing off in the third quarter. He had a total of 17 points in that third quarter. Just in that third quarter, this man was firing from behind the arc, and he was doing his thing. He, he, he had a total of, of 28 points. He was um, 8 for 10 from the three-point line. So that man got on fire in the second half. Moving on. Now, um... It was a big difference in scoring from the first half and the second half. U.S. it was a it was like a fifty six to thirty point difference in the second half. So that just shows you the U.S. men stepped up there. You know they stepped up their game in the second half. And um also oh yeah also uh I think his name is uh Kimpozo or Campozo I can't remember his name but 
Carmelo, before the end of the third quarter, Carmelo came down. It was like four point something seconds left. He shot the three. It went in. But as he was shooting the three, the guy punched him in his nuts. Melo fell down to the ground. That hyped up the USA team. That hyped up Melo. And I think that just made them take off. They just took off in the second half. They just took off and beat the shit out of Argentina, you know. But um, shout out to Argentina too, cause they has they they was balling, man. They got some ballers. They got some good good ballers on that team. But I'm um, gonna just go down, you know, the, the key scores of, of both teams. Chris Paul, well, we all know Kevin Durant was the leading man. He had 28 points. Chris Paul had 17 points, seven assists. Uh, Igu Dalla had 13 points, nine rebounds. Almost had a double double. Uh, LeBron James had 18, and once again, KD had. Uh, 28 points. And now on the Argentina side, Luis Scola had 11 points. Ginobili had 16. Delfino had 13. Nocioni had 12. And uh, um, Gouda Reds, I don't know. I'm guessing they brothers or whatever. One had 12 and the other one had 11 points. So the USA men wins 126 to 97. 126 to 97. There's 5-0 in that group. And this team can actually meet up in Argentina down the line again. So this should be very, very interesting. Now they're in a knockout round. So yes, the USA men, now they have to really be on their game, you know, in order to go to the gold medal game and win it. So um, you guys, you know what to do. Follow me on Twitter, comment, subscribe, rate, favorite, please. Uh, tell me, let me know what you think. And um, you guys have a nice day. Peace.